Shalom. Today we're going to look at an interesting phenomenon about being covered. So one of the roots for being covered is Samach Kaf. And you remember that the Kaf at the end of the word looks different than the Kaf in the middle of the word. And the most common word that you know from this root is Sukkah. And so the idea of Sukkah means to be covered. Genesis thirty-three seventeen, 17. And Jacob journeyed to Sukkot and built him a house and made Sukkot for his cattle. Therefore, the name of the place is called Sukkot. Sukkot is the plural of Sukkah. Leviticus twenty-three thirty-four. Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, The fifteenth day of the seventh month shall be a feast of tabernacles for seven days unto Yehovah. So that is the name of the holiday, the festival, Sukkot, tabernacles. First Kings 20.16, and they went out at noon. But Ben-Hadad was drinking himself drunk in the pavilions, he and the kings, the thirty and two kings that helped him. So they're out at war, and they've set up these tents or pavilions where they are resting in between the battle. These are Sukkot. Job 38.40, when they couch in their dens and abide in the covert to lie in wait. So now we see the beginning of the concept of being covered that is attached to this root, the Samech Kaf root. Also translated in Isaiah 1.8, And the daughter of Zion is left as a cottage in a vineyard, as a lodge in a garden of cucumbers, as a besieged city. So it's a temporary shelter, a temporary dwelling. Jonah 4.5 and Jonah went out of the city and sat on the east side of the city, and there made him a booth, a sukkah, and sat under it in the shadow till he might see what would become of the city. This is quite interesting because the story of Jonah is a story of repentance, and the day of repentance is Yom HaKippurim, Yom Kippur. And where is Jonah? He's in the sukkah, which we begin to build immediately after Yom Kippur. So the verb root is sachach. You can practice your tonsil aerobics. Sachach. Exodus 25, 20. And the cherubim shall stretch forth their wings on high, covering the mercy seat with their wings, and their faces shall look one to another. Toward the mercy seat shall the faces of the cherubim be. Psalm 139, 13. For you have possessed my reins, you have covered me in my mother's womb. There is such lovely vocabulary here about being knit together and being embroidered in the womb. 1 Samuel 24, 3. And he came to the sheep cots by the way where was a cave. And Saul went in to cover his feet. And David and his men remained in the sides of the cave. So this is kind of an interesting idiom. People have all kind of interpretations. In general, it is assumed that he is relieving himself. And I have seen some interpretations that say, well, he dropped his drawers and that covered his feet, but he probably wasn't wearing drawers. He was probably wearing a kaftan, some kind of dress. And so he is squatting down and that makes a dress cover his feet. Normally the, the dress would be not long enough to be all the way to the ground because he's going to have to engage in battle and use his legs. There's one other place, I think in Judges, where it uses the same idiom to cover one's feet. Job 3.23 Why is light given to a man whose way is hid and whom God has hedged in? God has put him in a, in a covered place and now he, the man can't get out. Psalm 91.4 He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings shall you trust, his truth shall be your shield and buckler. So as often as we like to say the Bible is very literal, we understand God does not have feathers, that this is a metaphor. Ezekiel 28:14, You are the anointed cherub that covers, and I have set you so. You were upon the holy mountain of God. You have walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Talking about Hasatan. The word for the material which covers the top of the sukkah is the same as this word. It's not a biblical word. It's a post-biblical word. It's pronounced schach, and that is what they use to cover the roof. The roof, traditionally, of the sukkah 
should be a covering, but with enough space so that you can still see the sky because you're living in a temporary dwelling. A derivative word is masa, means a hanging. Exodus 36, 26. And you shall make a hanging for the door of the tent of blue and purple and scarlet and fine twine linen wrought with needlework. Second Samuel 17, 19. And the woman took and spread a covering over the well's mouth and spread ground corn thereon, and the thing was not known. She's hiding it. Now we see in the New King James Version, masach is translated as the word screen, and it is the modern word for your computer screen, masach. Another verb from this root is such. Ruth 3.3 3. Wash yourself, therefore, and anoint yourself, and put your raiment upon you, and get you down to the floor, but make not yourself known unto the man until he shall have done eating and drinking. So the idea of anointing oneself would be covering oneself with oil or perfume, something like this. Second Samuel 14.12 And Joab sent to Tekoa, and fetched thence a wise woman, and said unto her, I pray you, feign yourself to be a mourner, and put on now mourning apparel, anoint not yourself with oil, but be as a woman that had a long time mourned for the dead. So mourners do not engage in usual practices of putting perfume or any cosmetic on to look nice or smell nice. From this root, we get the word nisucha, which is a thorn hedge, from Micah 7.4. The best of them is as a briar, the most upright is sharper than a thorn hedge. The day of your watchmen and your visitation comes, now shall be their perplexity. In one place, this word is translated as a crowd of people, and the relationship is to the density when you have a thorn hedge, how close all the branches and thorns are together that you can't get through. And so it's translated as a multitude of people. Psalm 42.4 when I remember these things, I pour out my soul in me, for I had gone with the multitude. I went with them to the house of God, with the voice of joy and praise, with a multitude that kept holy day. As is somewhat common, occasionally we will see the transfer of the samach to the sin. And so here is one word that is like that, such, the same idea of a fence or a hedge but it's spelled with a sin instead of a samach. Job 1.10 Have you not made a hedge about him, and about his house, and about all that he has on every side? You have blessed the work of his hands, and his substance is increased in the land. Hosea 2.6 Therefore, behold, I will hedge up your way with thorns, and make a wall that she shall not find her paths. So for this particular route, this is quite common Instead of seeing sachach, samich, kaf, kaf, we find it sin, kaf, kaf. Exodus 33:22, And it shall come to pass, while my glory passes by, that I will put you in the cleft of the rock, and I will cover you with my hand when I pass by. So this form, sakoti, is typical of geminate roots, where the two last letters are the same. Here is a noun. Isaiah 5.5, 5. Now go to, I will tell you what I will do to my vineyard. I will take away the hedge, the misucha, thereof, and it shall be eaten up, and break down the wall thereof, and it shall be trodden down. Extending to the concept of the thorns, Numbers 33.55, But if you will not drive out the inhabitants of the land from before you, then it shall come to pass, that those which you let remain of them shall be pricks, they shall be like thorns in your eyes, thorns in your side, and shall vex you in the land wherein you dwell. And again, like the word sukkah, only spelled with a sin, Lamentations 2.6, And he has violently taken away his tabernacle, as if it were of a garden. He has destroyed his places of the assembly. Jehovah has caused the solemn feasts and Sabbath to be forgotten in Zion, and has despised in the indignation of his anger the king and the priest. In one place, it's translated as harpoon, but you can see in the New King James, Job 
41.7 Can you fill his skin with harpoons, or his head with fishing spears? The King James translation says barbed irons. It's the same idea of a thorn, a pricking thing. There's also one use of a related word, of something sharp and pricking, in Proverbs 23.2, and put a knife to your throat if you are a man given to appetite. And this word sakin is spelled with a samach in modern Hebrew, and it means knife. If you are familiar with the principle of the pictographs of Hebrew, it can almost make some sense that even if we reverse the letters, we still have a word that means to cover. And kaf samach has a very similar meaning to samach kaf. The verb is kasa, that means to cover. Genesis 7:19, And the waters prevailed exceedingly upon the earth, and all the high hills that were under the whole heaven were covered. Genesis 18:17. And Yehovah said, Shall I hide, shall I cover up from Abraham, shall I conceal from Abraham that thing which I do? The word kise, which normally means seat, but mostly in Tanakh it's translated as throne, comes from the same root. Genesis 41.40 You shall be over my house, and according to your word shall all my people be ruled. Only in the throne will I be greater than you. So what's the relationship of covering? Well, possibly a throne could have some kind of drape over it or some kind of fancy covering. I've also heard it explained that a throne, the sides of it are quite wide. They protrude from the back and this covers the person who's in the seated in the throne unless you're face to face with them. Occasionally translated as seat, 1 Samuel 1, 9. So Hannah rose up after they had eaten in Shiloh and after they had drunk. Now Eli the priest sat upon a seat by a post of the temple of Jehovah. Another word you might be familiar with is kos, which means cup, Genesis 40, 11. And Pharaoh's cup was in my hand and I took the grapes and pressed them into Pharaoh's cup, and I gave the cup into Pharaoh's hand. So a cup actually covers the contents. You have to look into the cup to see what's, what's in it. Also used metaphorically, Psalm 116, verse 13, I will take the cup of salvation and call upon the name of Jehovah. Possibly from the owl hiding in the forest and being covered by the forest, or maybe just the shape of him, from far away looks like a cup, but sometimes it refers to an owl. Psalm 102.6, I am like a pelican of the wilderness. I am like an owl of the desert. One other related word is kis, which is translated as bag or purse, something that covers its contents. Deuteronomy 25.13, you shall not have in your bag diverse weights, a great and a small. Proverbs 1.15, cast in your lot among us and let us all have one purse. And a noun coming from the root, mirseh, is a covering. We see in Genesis 8.13, and it came to pass in the 600th and first year, in the first month, the first day of the month, the waters were dried up from off the earth, and Noah removed the covering of the ark and looked, and behold, the face of the ground was dry. All the other uses of this word refer to things in the tabernacle. Exodus 24:16, And you shall make a covering for the tent of ram skins dyed red, and a covering above of badger skins, or whatever animal that happens to be. I pray this is useful for your studies. Until next time, keep your eyes on the sky, your redemption draweth nigh. Shalom.